So why would you use HDR? Fiddle around with those darks, blacks and shadows, HDR is the place to go. First of all, tripod, second of all, make a couple of images with different exposures. So highlights will be from the underexposed images and the shadows would be from the overexposed images. So everything will have the perfect exposure in the end and it will be visible as natural as possible. Make an HDR image in Affinity Photo 2. File, new HDR merge. Obviously we can use the noise reduction. Let's click add. And those are our images. Those are five images with different exposures, especially for the shadows. And let's try and see what we can get. It does take a little bit of time. Those are raw images. And let's see how good of a work Affinity will do. So it does take some time as you can see. First a little bit of alignment, then tone mapping. Let's see how those shadows and highlights will look in the end. Now this looks great I, I must say. Let's see what can we do. Obviously we got some of the presets like natural is looking like that. Increase and lower down the exposure. Change the black point. Add a little bit of brightness to everything. Enhance, white balance, detail. Pretty much the usual I would say. Everything for the tone map. But let's click apply and just get the image. So this as you can see are our raw images. One, two, three, four, and five. And we mixed everything together to get something like that. And I must say this is a lot more contrast. Obviously those photos are raw photos, but this is what can we do in a finite photo. And there you have it guys, as you can see there is a lot of space to fiddle around with the whole image in HDR and I think photo it really works very well I must say, it's definitely a lot better than I'm trying to do in only, with only a single image in Capture One, I'm very happy. If you got any questions hit me up down in the comment sections and bye for now.